Hey guys, it's your boy Kool Aid. Um, we're here in Hardcore 83's world. Um, he has basically a arcade slash uh, activities world. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna go through and hit a couple of the key key points of it in part one. Well, uh, I'm sorry. We're gonna hit the transit system and and two games in part one, and then in part two, I'm gonna actually do a little fly around tour real quick and show you a couple of things that we couldn't show you in part one. Um, and I want to say uh, he did also talk with me during this video but my audio track got all messed up and so I'm re-recording this at 3 o'clock in the morning and getting it out there so we can have this video and show you all some of the stuff that he's done uh, I really love doing these tours and coming out there and talking to y'all because uh, I learn a lot uh, this is his depot and basically each game you go in you press the button for the game you want to go play then you go over to the side there and set your minecart down and it takes you to the game that you picked it's a really awesome setup we're gonna fly around a little bit and follow him but uh... once you get to the game it resets so the next player can go and we don't really use that but um... first game we're gonna go to is bowling i didn't really grasp the bowling right away uh, turns out you're you know I'm sitting there throwing the snowballs and you're supposed to discard them but he comes over and explains it to me there at the end but uh, basically when when you come up you go into the chest there you take out a stack of bowling balls or you can use either slime balls or the snowballs and then you're supposed to go over and just discard them now, I was steady like launching them at the things so I didn't win needless to say but uh you know it's really neat how when you're using redstone there's so many intricate designs so many things you can make that use like redstone use bud updates um, clocks all these different intricate designs but something as easy as or as simplistic as a pressure plate making a, a torch light up you know can be fun I mean it's something that you can make a little game out of and that's that's why I love the Minecraft community because they it, it ranges from people that just make these hyper complex digital clocks that you know you have to fly back and forth so that the blocks will load the, the sex segments will load um, all the way down to something like you know a rock paper scissors game that we're fixing to go up to uh, and what's really cool is he he worked on the aesthetic for this world uh, all these buildings are very similar and are the same color scheme uh, the world is very very uh, cohesive and that's really where a lot of the energy went into I mean the games don't have to be super complex but then he made the rest of the world work together uh, basically right here you press the button for rock paper or scissors the two gold blocks come up in the middle uh, if one person wins, well if you tie both blocks come up if one of you wins your block comes up and then those gold towers that you see over there on the wall those are your scorekeepers uh, your scoreboard basically and as one person wins the gold tower will slide out and when one person wins all three the floor opens up on the loser side he falls in the lava <laughs> and that's one thing about the games in this world a lot of them if you lose you die and you'll see that in the next video because we do a quick flyover uh, a lot of his games are still works in progress that he's still working on fine tuning which is fantastic he's putting a lot of heart into it and some one of the games is a game that uh, somebody else had actually built in his world and he didn't want to show that off but we did discuss how it worked and went in and looked at it and I'll tell you what once again that is something that's really fun um, we won't really get into it much but uh, there's just a lot of great ideas out there and that's that's why I like doing these tours I want you to let me you know hit me a message on on YouTube send me a message on game facts get in there let's talk bring me into your world tell me how your stuff works Let's go through on the tour. If you don't want to talk on the camera, that's I mean on the video, that's cool. I'll talk it through. 
but let's show, let's get this stuff out there because people can take something you built that's kind of simplistic, they can amp it up, they can put their own spin on it, um, you can see other people doing stuff and put a spin on it, that's, that's what I love about this community is ingenuity. But uh, we're coming near the end of this, uh, those were really the two games that we showed. We walked down here, this is a mastermind game, um, but it's still a work in progress, it was a little uh, not reset yet, so anyway, this is Kool-Aid and we're going to hit you up with part two.